Close Up Talk Show is proudly brought to you by AD Media in association with the following companies appearing on your screen. Hello and welcome to Close Up. Today we're going to know more about the young African female talent. We are in the southern region in the fourth largest city in Zimbabwe with a young lady by the name Whitney Ngorima. She is studying forensic science in her second year at the University of Zimbabwe. She has released five albums in 2012 and up to 2019. Her latest album is Mepo. It's good to have you here, Whitney. Thank you for having me. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm so excited. You know, before I even get into questions and things that I want to ask you, I just want to say a job well done on the latest <laughs> offering that Zimpraise has released. That was good. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. And glory be to God. That was good. Um, I just, maybe before we get much into uh, your project, just tell us how does it feel to be a part of one of the best choirs in Zimbabwe? It is the best feeling on earth trust me it is amazing you get to rub shoulders with people who are good at what they do and uh, trust me it's amazing just to mention a few can you just give us um uh, namely a few guys that you have worked with that are already renowned yeah we have worked with minister mayander as a choir and also mm -hmm. we have worked with kenan nyati as a choir as the mm -hmm. same praise choir Though I was in the back, yeah, I just want to appreciate that it's it's amazing to have them in front of you and you having the front row seat and seeing them in person is amazing. Mm, that's wonderful. That's good. And 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 tell me something. Um, tell me something we don't know about Zimpraise and you. How has Zimpraise helped you in your musical career? Zimpraise has helped to boost my confidence. Zimpraise has also given me the platform to minister, yeah? And also Zimpraise has helped me learn and grow myself by giving me the biggest platform in the country. Hmm. You recently did a hymn song, Ndinova Kwamuri, which is on the latest yeah. offering of Zimpraise. And from my understanding, that song was previously done with one of the best female vocalists in Zimbabwe. How how yes. is the feedback from the people? I mean, you having to do a song that was done before with somebody like Miss Sharon Mashonganise uh, Chirai. Wow. Like we both know, these were big shoes for me to fill. And um, mm -hmm. ah, they were just big shoes because she's good and she's amazing. But um, I want to thank God for the opportunity and I want to thank God for the outcome as well as the response. Mm, beautiful, beautiful. It's uh, one of the most outstanding things I appreciate about you and how you sing is yeah. your authenticity. I've watched it, I've watched it myself. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't watched Whitney, go straight on on Zimpra's Legacy TV on YouTube and just type in Dino Vakwamori. It's there on your screen right now. Type that, go see a scene. It's awesome it's wonderful now tell me something let's go to your projects uh whitney um you yes. released your first album in 2012 yes. um what what inspired you to write that i mean you're very young i think you're about 12 years of age what what, <laughs> what inspired you to write that first of all at that age i was still very young i mean i was still in primary so the person who was writing songs for me is my dad so he would just write for me. He was the bra the brains behind everything and the inspiration mm. behind everything. So he would help in the writing and I wonderful. Would and 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 how how did uh, how did people receive it when 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 because I mean you were very young. Were, were people like oh that's good or they were like oh that's cute. <laughs> what was the response? <laughs> the response was kind of like both. Like, oh, that's good. And some were saying, wow, cute. And then some would say, do you even understand what you're saying? Do you even know this God? But all this helped me boost my confidence and helped me grow my career. 
Wonderful. I love that. We're going to hear more yeah. about how Whitney wrote her songs together with her dad that was helping her side by side in the next segment. So please don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll be back shortly after this break. Close Up Talk Show is proudly brought to you by AD Media in association with the following companies appearing on your screen. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's good to have you. It's still good to have you with me on the program. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, before we went on a break, you were just telling us how the first album was received. You were young and people were saying, who's this kid? Some were receiving it very well. And you mentioned that your dad was helping you to write songs, whom I know, by the way, personally, because he shares the same <laughs> name with me. He's also a, right. he's also another admire. I call him a Sazi. My Sazi <laughs> do that. Uh, beautiful. That's um, right. How, how, tell me more about your dad. How has your dad contributed in your musical career? My dad has been one of the best and amazing, 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 amazing. I don't know. Should I call him a blessing? I mean, he's my everything. Um, my dad has helped by noticing first the talent that was in me. So he noticed the talent and he decided to nurture the talent and grow it as well, as well as supporting me. You know, as, as, as a school child, I would still sing while still writing exams. He would still allow me to sing. And he, was also, he would also pay for the studio sessions. I mean, that was the best thing. That was one of the best things that my dad did for me. That's beautiful, beautiful. It's rare to find parents that, you know, support, uh, particularly a girl child, you know, in Africa to do music for that. <laughs> exactly. Man, you know, exactly, so it's, it's, exactly. it's, it's quite, it's quite huge. I mean, you one lucky girl and uh, uh, I am, we applaud your I dad am, for I'm that. Well. Um, tell me something, apart from your dad, who else has contributed significantly in your musical career? Um, basically, my church has been um, one of the biggest platforms because they would also give me platforms to sing. As a child, you know, I would stand behind the pulpit and they'll still listen to me and clap when I'm done. Um, my church has helped. And I mean, there are also other people behind the scenes who are also there in helping boost my confidence, help me grow, people like my mom, my relatives, you know. Those people are important to me. Okay, all right. I think maybe before we jump into your personal life, let's let's jump back to your uh, music a little bit. Of all the five yeah. albums you've released, which one has yes. um, been received more and has had more impact? Um, I would say the last one, Maple. The last one, the one I did in twenty nineteen. Okay. Um, okay. It so had, it had the biggest impact. Yeah. Okay. And and what what has been the biggest testimony of this last one, Maple, right? Yeah, Maple. So I would I would get calls and texts of people telling me, Whitney, I was down. Whitney, I was depressed. Whitney, I was sick, and I was going through a lot. But when I listened to your song, God did things to me. When I listened to Maple. It boosted me. I was going suicidal. But when I listened to Maple, I mean, God spoke to me. So that's great how the song has been in people's lives. Wow, wonderful. Um, um, and, um, and what about you? What about you? Of all the songs you've ministered, which one do you... I know there are plenty, and I, I get that a lot <laughs> with most musicians. They say, ah, that's a hard question. Yeah. But I know <laughs> there's that question, one yeah. song. You know, there's that one song when you, when you, when you just sit it, it just kind of pops in the head. Or whenever you have a platform to minister, it just comes yeah. to your mind. Which one is For that me, song? For me, it's gotta be Ngirose Zedinga. That song, okay. I mean, it speaks to me. I mm. love it. Mm. <laughs> By the way, Ngirose Zedinga, it's translated the angels in heaven, right? Yeah, yeah, the angels of heaven. Okay, 
All right. And, and, and by the way, uh, suppose we have people there who don't really know much about you, Whitney. If they want to access your music, where should they get it? They can get hold of me on my Instagram, Whitney Gorima, mm -hmm. or my Facebook, okay. Whitney Gorima, okay. or my YouTube account, Whitney Gorima. Okay. All right, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You can access Whitney on her social media platforms, which are reflecting right now on your screen. Please get hold of her, support her, and be blessed. Okay, we are going to come back shortly after this break, and Whitney is going to tell us more about her career, about her support from home, and how she has come to balance school, music, home, being a young child at the age of 21. Shortly after this break, stay with us. Close Up Talk Show is proudly brought to you by AD Media in association with the following companies appearing on your screen. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's so good to have you with me in the studio. Thank you, Armaya. Um, tell me something, Whitney. You yeah. are in your second year at University of Zimbabwe studying forensic science. You are a daughter. You are in your local praise and worship team and your provincial uh, praise and worship team. You are also working with Sing Praise Choir. Then there's you, your you time. <laughs> How are you, yeah. you know, juggling all of that? Wow, it's difficult. It's hard, I wouldn't want to lie, because you have to give it your all. School, you have to maximize. Also, your career, I have to maximize. So sometimes it's overwhelming, so overwhelming that um, sometimes you feel like you can't. But at the same time, God gives you the strength and the power. And sometimes you just, you know, you just go on. Hmm. And tell me something, have you, have you gotten to a point where your grades start to look bad because you, you know, you had to attend to shows and, you know, you had to go minister somewhere. Has that, has you, have you gotten to that yeah, point? Yeah, I have. It has gotten to that point where I'm missing deadlines. Yeah, for assignments in my lectures are saying we are having to do deduct your marks because you didn't meet the deadline i don't care you were singing i don't care you're boosting your career i don't care i wanted my assignment yesterday why are you giving me today it has gotten to that point and also the marks for tests yeah 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 you know but you know we move <laughs> so 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 given um okay given such a scenario one would want to know and like me i'm now very curious to know what is okay given there was only a chance for one thing to do what would you choose what you're studying at school or music <laughs> now this is a difficult question that's like asking a mom to pick between a, ch a children and then asking her to, to choose her favorite child it's impossible i can't i love them both forensic science and music <laughs> i can't i can't pick I uh, can't. Uh -huh. hmm. all right so um <laughs> tell me something uh tell me something whitney this show is called close up for a reason we yeah. get to talk about things that people cannot find on your wall, on your social media. That is exactly what we're interested in. <laughs> I just want to know a little bit more about what you do, your habits off stage. You know, what, what, what is it? Who is Ngorima, you know, off stage, <laughs> off lights, you know, off spotlight? Who is you? Do you have any habits or things that you like doing that we don't know yeah. about? Yeah, yeah. I'm a dog person. I love dogs. So I really love to play mm -hmm. with my dogs. Yeah. And also I love baking. I'm a baker. So sometimes during my yeah. spare time, I'm baking and looking for new recipes. You know, that's the me you don't know on TV. Mm. Okay. <laughs> no, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Tell me something you do um, at home, you know, like uh, you mentioned something about your dad being there for you, writing songs for you. Um, yeah. What else? How are you engaged? How also, how much are you also engaged with your family at home? Uh, do you do stuff at home? Because I mean, you seem yeah. to have a lot going on in your life. 
we do mm. we do we do a lot together like watch football together watch tv together you know garden together we we do we do things together with my dad yeah mm. Mm. You have quite an interesting story. I mean, starting music at a very early age. And I just wanted you to come out here and maybe encourage some of the young women, African young women that are out there watching right now. What would be your um, advice to them? Uh, because, I mean, you're coming from Mutare, mostly big choirs and big things happen in the capital city in Harare. And you're yeah. coming from Mutare and being a part of one of the biggest groups and you putting um, uh, putting more effort into your projects and uh, 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 going up the ladder. What is your advice to some ladies that are listening to us right now? Right now, I'll say ladies, please, please focus on what you love and love what you do. Never listen to those people telling you you can't do it. Because I'm right, yeah, people were telling me, Whitney, you can't. Whitney, you have a hoarse voice. Whitney, you can't sing. But I'm right, yeah, pursuing what I love. So never, 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 never listen to people want to pull you down. I mean, do you love what you do? And always put first God. Wow. Profound words. Thank you so much. There you have it from a young female African talent straight into your ears. Thank you so much for joining us with me and thank you so much to our viewers who were with us watching. It's been a pleasure. Till we meet again. Bye. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>